Hey, how you doing? It's Grampy here, and uh, I'm back at the Steampunk tutorial, and we are getting ready to try to polish this thing off, but it's probably going to take at least, well, I don't know, we might be able to finish it in one video if I quit, if I just get right to it, but it'll probably take two videos. Um, but if you remember last time we worked on the interior, we got all the interior done for the lower level and we got the elevator built to get us up to this upper upper structure, which is right here. And now we're ready to start working on this part of the uh, structure. And the one thing that I really want to show is how to build a storage room up here on this main level the level that we're going to use to build our hot hot air balloon exit area so that's the level we're really interested in so for right now i am just going to as fast as i can fill in the floors on uh on these two first two levels so that we can just get right into that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do much other than do the floors um you could do whatever you want. Um, so here's here's this level. Now I think our so for example on this level you could if you wanted to you could build your enchant enchanting room here instead of um, you know down below where we build it, or you could build two of them if you wanted to, or you could use this for whatever. Uh, just put a wall and a door and make a bedroom out of it. But we're just going to leave it for now. We're going to build stairs up to that level. Uh, so I'm going to get my spruce stairs and just, oops, am I on the wrong? I am. I'm sorry. I want to build these over here. I think you'll see why. Because, um, my stairs um, where's spruce there it is okay I'm gonna start here and build these stairs up like this so there you go there's the stairs to get here now you can do to decorate these a little bit better you can do whatever you want you can put solid blocks I kind of looks neat to do stairs like that. It looks like a wine wine rack containers. Um, so there you go. And the reason I wanted them here on this side is because this level is going to be the only level that we're going to use a ladder to get up. And I can't figure out a better solution. Let me go ahead and put the floor in. I'm actually going to use dark oak for this floor. Um, Probably going to rip some of this out. I know we are because um, this is where our storage room is going to go. And in the middle, I'm going to put some maybe some furnaces and a crafting table. Um, let's put a just a wooden trap door here. So that's how we're going to get up and down here. I know that's kind of cheesy to have a ladder here, but. Um, for space reasons, it's really the only thing I could think it works out the best. So I actually am going to knock out five. I'm going to knock out a five by five area in the center. And then put um, ring it with furnaces. If I can reach, actually no, it's too big. I'm going to use um, a ring of birch first, just to 
ring around the outside with birch to add some variety. And then I'm going to put, then I'll put some furnaces in here like this. I don't know the best way to orient these, if there is a good way, but and then maybe a crafting table here. So that's the center of our storage room. Now here's how, um, here's how the storage room is going to be laid out. You just need regular chests. We're not going to use need to use any trap chest because of the way it'll be oriented and we're going to go three high with double chests here um, let's make that point inside on each of these corners like this three high double chests idiot I want him to point inside <laughs> inside Grampy okay inside Grampy here we go okay almost done I hope this is clear what I'm doing here um, so that's really kind of where our chests are going to go so that's the extent of our storage but the cool thing about this layout is that, um, I think I'll use spruce logs, is that every single chest is going to have its own, I'm just going to go up with logs on the outside of each one of these, and then some dark oak to kind of decorate in here and so so there now you could put double chests in these two slots as well so you're going to come up here so this is you can't use that and then this is going to be the doorway out to the balcony so you can't use that you could use these spaces for another three high double chests but there's no way to make it have its own um, item frame identifier so I'm gonna leave them I'm gonna do something else there but you can see with this layout every single double chest is gonna have its own identifying item frame which uh, just appeals to my sense of organization so here's what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put armor frames in here with um, with spooky, scary monsters on them. With you know, you could enchant some armor here, and uh, do whatever you like. I'm just going to throw some armor in there. Then you could even do my my recording device better be recording. Uh, full disclosure. Oh, I love that. The hugging a creeper right above our creeper. I wonder if there's one with a skeleton. A lot of creepers. I'll just leave it like that. So anyway, there's kind of the uh, layout of the storage room. Now. Um, now, get me some dark oak. We're going to fill this in with dark oak. Um, and actually, not sure what we're going to do here, but for I think we can do that. I think we can just put windows. Spruce stairs. Let me get some spruce stairs quickly. You know, it might seem a little weird, but I'm just going to put windows in front, a one high window in front of that um, chest. Where's my orange? There it is. So, and then. Um,
Maybe that. Not sure what I'm doing here. <laughs> Oops. Don't know how to spell. And maybe like that. So So there we go. Now this goes out to here. Um, this is going to be the entrance to our um, to our stairway. This is going to be a spiral staircase that goes up to this level up here. And we're just going to fill. I'm going to get some glowstone real fast. And you could, um, you know, you could put furnaces right here in these corners, like that and you can still reach them easy enough through the through here to give you some more furnace capacity that way you could do something more attractive with the floor but uh, it, for for me I'm just gonna put glowstone right here in these corners so it'll provide lighting it'll block out the view between those chests of anything back there and it'll prevent mobs from spawning and there you go that's what the that's what your storage room is going to look like. So you can, you know, load these up with whatever you want and uh, mark them with e each chest will have its own item frame. Um, so I think that's about it for this video because I need to do a little planning and I'm really nervous that my, well, let's, uh, let's block this off. I'm not sure exactly what it needs but uh, actually I'm going to block the uh, I don't know what I'm doing sorry if you're following along with me um, You've realized now that I am an idiot. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to block this section with wood. Okay, so, okay. And there's actually going to be windows here to look out. And those are going to look, the window strategy is just going to be like, maybe like, Um, a too high here. Oh, did I get rid of my glass? Get rid of everything that I need. Okay. Orange glass. There's red. There's pink. Why can't I see? There's orange. Um, so, anyway, the windows are going to kind of look like that. So they'll still retain a bit of an orange tint from the glass but it's gonna it's gonna tone down a lot of that bright orange it won't look nearly as orange after we get all the windows in here and we'll pick the strategic locations for them when we're done but you can see you can come up here and you don't really even need to close that you can walk across it easy enough but you can close it if you want to and then up here we'll have our star spiral staircase to this upper floor and the upper floor is going to be um, on this level just like everything else has been now um, the thing that I need to go check is first of all that my recording equipment is recording I'm using new recording uh, equipment by the way I've got a uh, my old recording setup the one I used to record music on my computer but I've got a really nice audio technica condenser mic that's uh, really uh, you a really warm microphone and then I'm using a uh, Studio Projects VTB1 um, V-series preamp that lets you um, switch between sort of uh, a tube, a, the warm uh, feeling of a tube uh, amplifier and, uh, and a 
you know, a non-tube amplifier, whatever they are after tubes. But um, it's really a pretty sweet setup. I was I used to record music, but I'm trying it here, and my problem is I. Just in full disclosure, I made about this much progress already and then found out that I wasn't recording properly the sound. So I had to rip it all out and redo it up to here. But the reason I'm going to stop right now is that I think I've got a bug with my version of Forge. And I hope that's what it is anyway because I'm uh, what I need to do is... What we're, how we're going to finish this off from the inside is by adding slabs up here and you know ch chests below slabs should open just fine but they don't and I did a little research and somebody was saying that it's an issue with forge so um, I'm going to go uh, uninstall forge and see if I can make that work because that's got to work <laughs> I need to have slabs above all these or this is worthless. So hopefully I can get that to how I need to do a little testing and stuff. So anyway, guys, uh, but let me, just to show you what it's going to... I don't... Actually, I'm not going to use spruce. Well, I won't show you. I'll uh, wait until next video because I'm not going to use spruce. I think I'm going to use... I don't know what I'm going to use, but we'll figure that out in the next video. And uh, thanks for watching this one. But anyway, if I can get this to work, this is a pretty sweet little storage setup. You, you know, you wouldn't think it's not the biggest. It's not going to satisfy all your storage. <laughs> it's weird. It's not going to satisfy all your... See, I don't think that looks bad to see a chest through there. It's not going to satisfy all your storage requirements, obviously, if you're... You know, you're going to need a lot more than this. But this is a pretty sweet little storage setup for a, uh, you know, for a steampunk house. You just wouldn't think that something like that would fit in here. And pretty nice, I think. I kind of like our little <laughs> friends up here. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, see you in the next video. Hopefully I can get my problems worked out.